today we are going to discuss about the hip dislocations so a hip dislocation is a disruption of the joint between the femur and the pelvis specifically it is when the ball shape head of the femur comes out of the cup shape acetabulum of the pelvis it may be anterior hip dislocation it may be posterior hip dislocation or it may be central hip dislocation so from interior we have anterior superior anterior inferior and the most common type is the posterior hip dislocation so in this uh, particular x-ray we can see that uh, the head of the femur move superiorly and posteriorly to that of the acetabulum so we can see uh, the shaft of the femur also adduct in adducted position so it is an example of posterior hip dislocation so uh, if you talk about anterior hip dislocation so it is a type of hip dislocation where the head of the femur come out uh, from the acetabulum of the pelvis interiorly so the most common type of anterior hip dislocation is anterior inferior due to the mechanism of force and due to gravity it moves uh, inferiorly so if you talk about the uh, mechanism of the force or, or the injury there will be abducted abducted force with externally rotated thigh and it may be there will be high uh, velocity force from the posterior aspect of the thigh so the presentation of such a patient there will be pain uh, swelling uh, reduced movement and injury to the femoral vessel and nerve and we can feel the head of the uh, femur interiorly and we can palpate in the head of the femur and there will be the typical presentation for anterior hip dislocation that is faber the leg with anterior dislocation will be flexed uh, ab abducted and externally rotated so it is very important to remember uh, these four signs that is flexed adducted and externally rotated so as we say that the most common type is obturator type or anterior inferior so leg will be lengthened so in this particular uh, patient we can see that uh, the leg is uh, flexed and it is uh, in abduction position and externally rotated so it is a typical example of anterior hip dislocation if you take x-ray of this uh, particular uh, condition uh, we can see that uh, and the head of the femur comes out inferiorly okay if inferior we need to think that it should be anterior hip dislocation so it is uh, also we call it as the obturator type here and the shaft of the femur going away from the longitudinal axis of the body and going laterally so we can say the head of femur is uh, anteriorly uh, located anteriorly dislocated and it is in ab uh, abducted position so it is example of anterior hip dislocation so if you talk about the posterior hip dislocation so it is a type of uh, hip dislocation where the femur head is dislodged from on the acetabulum in such a way that the femoral head lies posteriorly and superiorly to the acetabulum and it is the most common type of hip dislocation if you talk about the mechanism of force there will be adducted force with internally rotated femur and the most common uh, mechanism of injury uh, is the dashboard injuries which not only causes the posterior hip dislocation but it also causes damage to the uh, ligaments of the knee so it is also caused knee dislocation or knee uh, fracture so the presentation will be pain swelling a reduction of motion and neurovascular injuries and the most common nerve is a sciatic nerve compression in posterior hip dislocation so we need to see in patient with posterior hip dislocation either having foot drop or not and if you talk about the typical uh, presentation of the posterior hip dislocation that uh, that will be farther that is f mean flexed ad adducted and ir internally rotated so there will be a flexed adducted and internally rotated leg okay and uh, we can feel and the head of the femur into the gluteal region and it is uh, limb shortening occurring posterior hip dislocation so here we can see a particular image where we can see that the leg is internally rotated and uh, flexed and adducted so adducted flexed and internally rotated this is what the typical sign of the posterior hip dislocation here in this particular x-ray we can see that the head uh, 
moves superiorly and posteriorly and the shaft of the femur is toward the longitudinal axis of the body or we can see the leg is in adducted position so it is a typical uh, x-ray of posterior hip dislocation and there is the classification that what we call is the thompson epstein's classification it uh, present some types uh, there will be a dislocation with or uh, with minor fractures or without fractures so the type 1 with or without uh, minor fracture of the acetabulum type 2 with a large single fracture of the rim of acetabulum type 3 the community fracture of the acetabular rim with or without major fragments and the type 4 the fracture will be uh, at the femoral head and a dislocation of the hip so if the diagnosis the diagnosis mostly based on the clinical presentation and for the confirmation of the diagnosis and the condition we perform x-ray imaging and if you talk about the treatment there will be conservative methods are most probably used for uh, the hip dislocations that the the close reduction by using cast and splints some of the cost we use for the anterior and the posterior hip dislocations and uh, they are the stimson's gravity method allison's method coach's method bigelow's method reverse bigelow's method and classical watson methods so these are the methods which we use anterior and posterior hip dislocations so if uh, both conditions if a close reduction is failed and then we will go for the open reduction and in case of uh, damage to the neurovascular compartments and if the dislocation is uh, with the community fractures of the acetabulum or the fracture of the head of femur then we will go for the open reduction method and if both methods are failed uh, and the severity is uh, very dangerous and then we will go for uh, the uh, hip replacement therapy it may be uh, hemi orthoplasty or total hip replacements so we rarely use these methods so there are two methods two uh, instrument we use there is Austin's, uh, Austin's more and Thompson the one with two hole is Austin and without hole is Thompson so here we can see that the total hip replacement where we use the Thompson uh, apparatus and uh, it's uh, very rarely we use these uh, procedures mostly in pathological cases or very severe, severe trauma so uh, finally at the end i want to discuss about the positive vascular sign of narath so what is this so whenever there will be dislocation uh, the hip dislocate uh, against which we need to check the pulsation so in positive sign there will be no pulsation of the femoral uh, uh, artery into the femoral triangle so this is what we call narrative sign thank you